In today's video, we're going to be doing a giveaway of a brand new LED grow light. This thing is pretty cool. We're also going to be weighing my pumpkin to see if I managed to beat my record from last year. And of course, we're going to be taking a look around at my chilies. My name is Sean, also known as Chili Chump, and I absolutely love growing chilies. If you like growing chilies, if you like making hot sauce, if you like automating the garden, then make sure that you subscribe because I share all my adventures in doing all of those things. Let's start off by taking a quick look around my greenhouses and see how my chilies have been getting on. It is getting to the end of the season now, so <laughs> there's quite a few ripe peppers actually, so there's something to see, but uh, it definitely is starting to slow down. Let's get inside the small greenhouse first and see what's going on in there. I've just come back from holiday. We uh, spent a few days out in the Lake District and uh, it was good fun. Nice to get out for a bit, but I did look forward to coming back and checking in on my plants. This time of season is typically when things are starting to ripen up and I've already done quite a few harvests, but we still have a lot of new ripe peppers here. So we're going to take a look at a few of my plants and see how they have been doing. The first plant we'll have a look at is this one. It's the Thunder Mountain Longhorn and I just love these peppers. I am certainly saving some seeds from this and we'll be growing them on again next year because just check out those peppers. We can see that these things are huge. I don't know if you can really tell on the camera but that's more than the length of my hand. And there's even longer ones than that. Um, they take quite a while to ripen. They seem to take ages for the last little bit so this one here is ripe but right at the end there we can see that it's still quite green but uh, it won't be long before that's fully ripe i've already isolated a few so i'll make sure that i can grow them on next year but quite an interesting plant and there will be a checking out chilies episode coming with this plant because it's actually quite an interesting tasting one too this is one I was particularly interested in checking out as soon as I got home. This is my Peri Peri Cross Lemon Drop. And you would have seen an episode of that recently. I'll put a link up above. And you can see there's quite a few new ripe peppers on there. And of course, I have a few isolated that have come through quite nicely up there. So this plant is doing really well. I'm still contemplating whether I will overwinter it or not. Um, I don't really see the point. As long as I get some isolated seeds from this, then I'm going to be growing on for the next season. But if I didn't manage to get these ones up here in particular to ripen up and actually get some viable seeds, then yeah, it might make sense to hold on to this plant for a little bit longer. But it's more than two years old now, so I think uh, it's almost time for it to retire. But it's done really well and it is looking still very healthy and yeah the next generation is certainly going to be quite interesting this one is the cgn 19198 it's one of the chili chum seed kit plants and i've really enjoyed growing it how have you guys been getting on with it because it's something it's it's not the most impressive in terms of size or even the size of the chilies themselves they're tiny little chilies but i've enjoyed growing them they, they're pretty little flowers these purple little flowers here and uh, tiny, tiny peppers. I don't know if I can find some ripe ones here. I've been harvesting a heck of a lot of these. So there's a, one of the ripe ones. But I've been harvesting quite a lot of them. And I've been saving a lot of seeds. Uh, talking of which, I will actually be selling seeds starting at the end of this year. Uh, it will not be the biggest selection this year. Just because of the challenges I've faced with my growing season. <laughs> but... Uh, yeah, there will be some coming on the market and I will be doing a lot more next year. But uh, these will be one of them that will be on the market. So keep an eye out for that. I'll make sure to announce it in my newsletter. So make sure that you subscribe to that. This is a plant I've actually been quite impressed with. It's the first time I've grown it. It's the Red Crystal Spike and it's just prolific. I've already harvested twice off this, like pretty big harvests. I've saved quite a bit of seeds. And certainly, again, another one I'll be growing next year. But these are interesting tasting chilies as well. And I think there are a few sources I want to try with them. 
but uh, I will be doing a checking out Chili's episode on it and I'll give a bit more detail. There's actually a few plants in my greenhouses that I need to do checking out Chili's episode before the end of the season, but this will be one of them. And yeah, it's, uh, it's a lovely plant. It's quite compact, but yeah, just so many chilies coming off it. So yeah, quite impressed with that. Maybe it's a uh, possibility for a cross with a certain other chili that I have. We will see. I have picked my competition poblana and weighed it. And I will reveal that on the video where I reveal who the winner is of the poblana competition. Spoiler alert, it is not me. You guys have grown some beasts that I've seen submitted. But uh, don't be intimidated. If you have got a poblana that you've grown this year and you want to enter it in the competition, you still have some time. I will leave a link down below for you to uh, enter that. But uh, yeah, I'm, I'm not going to be winning this year. Still got to do it. Still got to do it. We're still going to have another competition next year. Um, I've got a few ideas of a couple competitions actually, but I'll reveal that a little bit later. Before we head on over to the large greenhouse, I wanted to point out something. These here are my IBC containers. I have quite a few of them <laughs> collecting water off my greenhouses. I use that to water my plants. These green covers are to protect it from the sunlight. They basically have UV protection. They protect the plastic in the IBC itself from degrading and having to replace these containers but it also stops algae growth from inside the containers. So they are quite essential. The problem is I bought cheap ones. I thought these were proper Oxford material, but they're not, they're just cheap rubbish crap. You can see at the back there, how it's all torn up from a little bit of wind. So unfortunately, these are just gonna get thrown away and they weren't exactly cheap. I did buy them from AliExpress uh, because I had to buy quite a few. I was trying to save a bit of money make sure that you spend a little bit more money, get the right thing so that it lasts at least a few years. Let's go have a look at the new ones I have, which are on the other IBCs and also the same types that I'm going to be replacing these with. So all the other covers I have are this material, which is quite a bit thicker. It is the Oxford material. I think it's 210D. Uh, there are a couple of different grades, but this is substantially better quality. Still got the metallic kind of lining underneath so it is UV protective we'll see how long it lasts but it definitely feels a lot better than those cheap green ones that I have so I've got a couple others on order that will go and replace the green ones but yeah it is essential to have this if you just have your IBC open to the elements then you're just going to have massive algae problems and uh, you're also going to damage your IBC so either get a cover or spray painted or something like that i did consider the spray painting option but that was that was even more expensive than these covers the greenhouse is finally completed this large greenhouse has been a real pain one of the most frustrating experiences of my life uh, watch a couple other episodes that i've put up around the build of this greenhouse i will be putting up one more episode of that series just to show the final completed thing but uh, yeah highly frustrating experience it's really set my season back which is why the plants in here are not as healthy looking or as productive or as large as the ones in the other greenhouse because i had to wait so long before i could actually pot them up because of how long this greenhouse took to build but anyway enough of that we've got some pumpkins to weigh and we've got a giveaway to talk about so let's go and weigh some pumpkins and see if i've managed to beat my record from last year these are Atlantic Giant pumpkins. They are some of the largest pumpkins in the world. Not, not these specific ones, but yeah, <laughs> these ones are nowhere near the size of some of the record holders. But they grow massive. They are very impressive. And uh, I would suggest growing them if you like growing pumpkins, that sort of thing. Uh, those aren't my contenders. Uh, these here aren't either. These are just run-of-the-mill pumpkins. This guy over here is my contender. And I'm hoping I'm going to beat my record from last year. Last year I grew a pumpkin that weighed in at 17.09 kilograms or 37.68 pounds and I really want to beat that this year. I'm a very competitive person so yeah, Let, let's see. Let's see how much this weighs. I'm going to use my luggage scale again, this guy over here. I just need to zero it out because I'm going to put the pumpkin in here to weigh. My scale is not big enough for this thing, so, yeah, use the luggage scale, so I'm just going to zero that out, 
There we go. So the basket and the rope weighs about a kilogram. And now the moment of truth, let's see what we have. Please be bigger than 17.09. Okay. <laughs> oh, I need a better scale. But that is 19.18 kilograms. I am very pleased with that. Let me get this back up over there. But yeah, that's 19.18 kilograms, and I am super happy that I'm <laughs> able to get a bigger pumpkin than I had last year. Now I just need to try and get an even bigger one next year. It'd be nice to break 20 kilograms next year. So yeah, I am really pleased with that. Have you grown any pumpkins this year? What sort of size have you done? Have you managed to get bigger than 19 kilograms? Actually, I don't know if I want to ask that because... I'll be very upset if you guys have grown bigger pumpkins, but let me know in the comments below if you have grown something, um, even if it's smaller, it doesn't matter. Let me know the biggest pumpkin that you've grown this year. Uh, maybe we'll do a bit of a fun competition next year so you can grow the biggest pumpkin. Um, but yeah, I'll be growing them again next year. But yeah, 19 kilogram. Pretty happy with that. Let's go and take a look at what we are giving away today. This here is the XS 1500 from our friends at Vipar Spectra. They have some pretty great grow lights. And actually, go check out their YouTube channel. They have some uh, interesting videos on there talking about grow lights and things like that. But I'll link that down below in the description. But let's open this up. I haven't actually had a look at this yet. <laughs> I love opening up new gadgets and toys. And it is torture having to hold out to show you guys. So I hope you appreciate it. Let's have a look what's in here. So this is the light we will be giving away, or not the specific one. I'm actually going to be using this. I'll be testing this out myself. I have quite a few grow lights now, and uh, I'll be able to do pretty good testing with them. The LEDs on here are from Samsung. They're the LM301B, and they're obviously decent quality coming from Samsung. It also uses the Meanwhile driver, I believe, which is a really good quality driver. Actually, I think the vast majority of the ones I have have Meanwhile drivers. Oh, straight away, I love that, that quality. So I have talked about Vipar Spectra in the past. The one thing I really like about it, obviously in our grow rooms, we have a lot of humidity, uh, a lot of water all over the place, and it's important to make sure that your grow lights can handle that. This here has a rubberized coating, so it's difficult to explain. But if you feel this, it's like a rubber glove, the, the gloves you'd use to wash up dishes, that sort of thing, uh, but rubberized. But I really like that. It's a really good touch. Uh, like I said, the Meanwhile driver, it is dimmable, which again, I think is essential on lights these days, especially with how powerful these can be. This is 150 watts. But been able to go down to 5% all the way up to 100%. And uh, that's quite useful because obviously during the early stage of growing, you don't want too much light because the seedlings can't handle it. So you can either move this away from the seedlings or leave it in the same position and just turn it down. Let's see what else is in the box. We have a plug. It's just a kettle lead. This is for UK, this specific one, but it will come with whatever your local region is. Talking of which, the giveaway unfortunately is only for the USA, Canada, Europe, Australia, and the UK. So that's USA, Canada, Europe, Australia, and the UK. So apologies for anyone that's not in those regions, but that's all that we're able to actually send these out to. You will get a brand new one, exactly the same as what I have here. See what else it has in the box. Uh, these are hangers, which obviously clip in on the side of the light. And then we have these which are adjustable to take it up and down. If you are considering a grow light, have a look at Vipar Spectra. You know, I'm not saying it's better than some of the other brands that are out there, but it's certainly one to consider when you are looking at buying a light. I'm really excited to try this out. I will be doing a heck of a lot of videos around grow lights over the next few months because I have quite a few from different brands, uh, different sizes, and I'll be testing them all out. I'll be doing as much of a scientific test as I possibly can, and also 
you know, we're going to be growing some plants under them. So we'll have to see how they perform. To enter the competition, make sure that you are in the USA, Canada, Europe, Australia, or the UK. And leave a comment down below this video saying, show me the light. So show me the light and uh, you'll be in with a chance for the drawing. I will be doing the drawing probably at the end of the month at my next live stream. So make sure you check that out as well so you can find out whether you have won this or not. And uh, also go show, go show Vipar Spectra a bit of love. Check out their YouTube channel and also their Facebook page. Uh, they were very kind to be able to send me this light, obviously for my own uses and testing, but also to send one out to one of you guys for this competition. I'm not going to go and look at individual plants in my large greenhouse. To be honest, it's rather depressing in here at the moment. These plants I know should be at least twice, maybe even three times the size that they are. They should definitely be a lot healthier than they are. Some of them have died, as you can see in that corner over there. And some of them are quite sickly, like the ones right over here. It's just not nice to see. And the thing is, I know why it's happened. Next year is going to be a completely different story. I will talk about it a little bit more in the next garden update video. I will have more time to sit down and actually chat through my season properly and just break down some of the things that have gone on, some of the successes and failures. But let's just say potting up at the right time is hugely important when you have a short season like we do in the UK and many other places around the world. But uh, anyway, there's a quick look at some of my plants. Oh, anyway, next year, completely different story and we'll definitely have a jungle in here. Before we finish up this video, I wanted to share some exciting news. We have finalized the varieties that will be in the Chili Chump Seed Kit for 2022. And there are some awesome varieties in there. A couple that were a bit touch and go whether we'd be able to get them, but they are very much sought after and I'm sure you guys are going to love it. So I'll be announcing that next week. I'm hoping in the early part of next week, otherwise it'll be towards the, the later part. So keep an eye out for that video. And uh, yeah, I'm excited to grow some of these varieties myself. Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope that you enjoyed it and I look forward to seeing you on the next one. Until then, stay spicy.